Hey guys, so I'm here today to film another uh, Foundation Rewind video for you. Basically, this is a new series on my channel where I go through my foundations once a week, hopefully, and do a review and wear test on one of the foundations. Today, today I will be testing out the Lancome Tun Idol Ultra 24-Hour Makeup. This is in the shade 100 Ivory. It's the lightest shade, I believe. I bought this foundation last year during the VIB sale, I believe, so probably around November, and I mean, I probably should have returned it because I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Um, it's $56 Canadian, and it's a medium coverage foundation. I'm just reading stuff off Sephora here. It's good for all skin types, has a matte finish, and it's an oil-free, long-wearing liquid foundation that delivers medium to full coverage, leaves a natural-looking velvety matte finish for up to 24 hours. So... I'm going to insert a clip now of me applying this foundation, so if you want to see how it applies, keep watching. So I've already primed my face with the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I find this foundation is a little bit more on the, I wouldn't call it matte, but it's more matte than what I'm personally used to because I have dry skin, so I wanted to use a nice hydrating primer to give this foundation a chance. I'm just going to start with one pump and spread that around my face. Mm, she's cute and of course blend it in with my beauty blender because fuck brushes as you can see I would call this like a light medium coverage maybe a medium coverage foundation. Personally, I like a fuller coverage foundation, so for me, even when something is medium coverage, I think it's light. Um, as you can see, I still have some redness coming through here. Um, it really did even out my skin tone, though. Like, if I finish my face now, I think I'd be happy with it. It's like a nice... It kind of has, like, that satin matte finish where it just looks like skin, but I am going to take a little bit more of that foundation and build it up on all the places I need more coverage. Also, I'm sick today, so I feel like that makes me feel like I need more coverage. Like, it looks okay. Uh, like I said, it looks pretty natural on the face, like in my mirror here, I feel like it looks pretty natural. It's covering decently. I guess I would call this like a medium buildable foundation. You can still see my redness here, which I'm not loving. And I did two layers. For concealer, I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because it's my holy grail. And I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of light and fair so that's light and then I'm gonna add fair just because I am sick today so I feel like I need a little more highlight a little more brightness I look alive, a little crazy, but alive. I'm gonna set that with my RCMA No Color Powder. It's my fave setting powder for under the eyes and it's dirt ass cheap. I just finished my brows and I realized I didn't zoom in on my face to show you guys what it looks like before I set it with powder, so I wanna do that now. Again, you can see my discoloration here. And a little bit on my chin like my freckles are showing through if you like a natural finish but still some coverage it's not bad as you can see it is settling into my forehead lines but not as bad as the Kat Von D did in the last video it looks just like it now that it's dried down it is definitely more of a matte finish like I can't really see any sheen to my skin at all so this is what it looks like before I set it so this is the foundation applied to my face. I set it with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. I set every foundation with that. I probably didn't need to set this foundation because it is so matte, but 
that's just how I test every foundation. It's how I wear every foundation. So I figured I would do it anyways. I also like that powder because it adds a little bit more coverage and I like coverage. Who doesn't want to be covered? I do. Then I set it with a uh, MAC Fix Plus and then the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray because I have dry skin. So I like to take away that powdery kind of finish. It's 12, 17, I'll call the check-in time 12 because I did straighten my hair. Um, don't judge my hair. When it's straight, I feel like you can tell just how awful my dye job is. Don't look at it. Um, I did straighten my hair and finish my face, etc. So 12, 12 o'clock is probably um, more than generous of a time frame. I know I said in my last uh, foundation review video that I want to do longer wear time, so I'm going to start earlier in the morning. Today, I clearly didn't do that. But my husband is in a band and he has a gig tonight, so I won't get home till probably 1 o'clock in the morning. So I will be able to wear this for a full 12 hours, if not longer, depending on when I get home. So get ready to see my ratchet ass at 12 o'clock in the morning. It's not going to be cute. Um, so I'm going to zoom in and show you what this foundation looks like now that it's set and all my makeup is applied. So to be honest, my chin has looked better. I did just finish my period, TMI. So she's a little, like, they're not even pimples. They're just, like, little red bumps that, like, aren't cute. Um, cheeks always look fine on me. Nose doesn't look too bad. Again, foundation has settled into the forehead. Are we sensing a trend? Oh, this eyebrow needs to be touched up right here. The zoom is not friendly to anyone. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad. It does look a little dry. Um, hopefully it gets better with wear. Hopefully as the day goes on, it gets better. I do notice it's a little cakey around my mouth area. Um, and it's just like, it's right now it's just okay. It's not 56 hours, I'll tell you that. This does, this does have SPF 15 in it, and I will not be trying to wear it for 24 hours. No one needs makeup that lasts 24 hours. I'm gonna be honest with you and say that I don't think this is gonna last 24 hours. Just straight up first thoughts. Um, so this foundation is just like, okay. If you have oily skin, you might really like this foundation. I know lots of YouTubers rave about this foundation, but for me, so I will probably do a check-in before I leave to go to the gig tonight and then again when I get home. If you want to see how this foundation wears, keep watching. Okay, so my camera is about to die. It's 6 o'clock right now. My phone's not in here. You're just going to have to trust me. I'm just doing a check-in before I go out tonight and I'll do another check-in when I get home. This is what the foundation looks like right now. It's worn off around my mouth and nose, but that's because I don't have mentioned before, but I'm sick. So it's just like, I've been blowing my nose all day. It's not great. It's looking a little cakey and dry around my nose and especially, or sorry, around my chin and my forehead, still sinking into those lovely lines I wanna get rid of. Um, yeah, it's just okay. It's been six hours and it's not making me feel like it's a $55 foundation, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm probably gonna wear a hat tonight because I'm going out and my hair is a fucking atrocity. So I'm putting a hat on, which will probably affect the wear of my forehead, but it will hide my ugly hairdo. So like priorities, people. So I will do another check-in when I get home so you can see the final situation. Hey guys, so it is 12.10 in the morning. Dreams. Um, so I've had this foundation on for 12 hours and I'm gonna be honest, she's not looking great. I did wear this hat out in public because it hides my shitty hair. So I'll take it off for you. Um, it totally fucked up my forehead, but that's just, you know, the price you have to pay for wearing a hat. Again, it's my nose and above my, kind of my upper lip area are completely rubbed off because I'm blowing my nose all night. I'm getting the plague and I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I'm gonna zoom you in. Oh, that's out. My chin has seen better days. It's like dry and cakey, but separated at the same time. And I feel like it's settled into every pore I own. Uh, cheeks look just whatever, like blush and highlight stayed on around my nose and even under my eyes looks cakey and gross. Cakey and gross. And <laughs> this is my forehead. 
Um, that's more so the hat's fault. I just feel like I had a shitty foundation day. Now part of that is probably because I am getting sick, so my I just feel like dry everywhere, which probably isn't helping the foundation, but I think even if I was have a normal human today and not sick, I would have had a shitty foundation day. I just feel like everything looks dry and cakey on me. It did last throughout the day, like it's still on my face, but not in the best way possible. I feel like my last, these first two videos for my foundation review series has been, or foundation rewind series has been foundations that are better for oily skin because this is not cute on my skin. And I have dry skin, but I have more normal to dry skin. Like my skin is not exceptionally dry. Like I don't have flaky patches or anything. I just, it's mostly normal, a little bit dry, especially in the winter months, but she's not cute today. So just like my last, I definitely think the Cap On D held up better up to the six, up to the eight hour mark, whereas this one by six hours started looking dry and cakey. So I wouldn't recommend this if you have dry skin. I don't know why I didn't return this foundation and why I kept it. I'll probably keep mixing it with like moisturizing um, primers and like other illuminating foundations, but She's not that great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.